What's going on, everyone? This is J.K. White with the Baseball Rebellion. Actually, the Softball Rebellion today because I have this week's breakdown and I decided to go a little bit differently and do a professional softball player swing. We know that the girls and the guys at the highest level of both sports, that being uh, the NPF or National Pro Fast Pitch League uh, for softball and, and, and baseball, obviously being Major League Baseball, have really great swings. They wouldn't be there, and they definitely wouldn't be there for a long time if they weren't doing something right. So today I have Kelly Crutchman, um, who plays for the Pride, and I, I just looked her up, and basically I just I went to the stats. I went to the stats and, and wanted to find out who was probably one of the best hitters in the – um, in, in the NPF, and I just looked at the stats, and oh my gosh, this girl is at the top of every category. I'm talking batting average, slugging percentage, on-base percentage, runs batted in, runs scored, home runs, which is a big one, obviously, with 13. Um, let me see here. What else? What else? What else? Total bases, sack flies, and things like that. You will not find her in the in like the grounded in the double plays and, and things like that. So we see the sack flies, we see the homers, we see the batting average and the and the and all the uh, power numbers, slugging and whatnot, and we know she's doing something right. She's been a, a professional softball player for eleven years. Not 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 a uh, you know not surprised. Obviously, she's really good. And I found a swing of her hitting a walk off um, against the Akron Racers here, and uh, I thought it'd be fun to to watch her swing here. And she's obviously. Uh, super good athlete and and does a great job in this swing. So I'm gonna let it play through real quick. Uh, we got the good front side view and the back side view or side view here. So we're gonna we're gonna watch we're gonna watch both. Okay. So here's the front side view. A little bit of slow motion. All right. Obviously this is the this is the replay from uh, from the original footage taking, but I'm just gonna play it all the way through. Obviously the pitcher not happy with that. Okay. Good. So. First things first, uh, from the front view, what can we take away from the front view? And, and for me, it's always interesting to watch when the hitter begins their move, when the pitcher starts uh, their motion. So we see, uh, you know, the, the opposing team pitcher, the racist pitcher, with her hand about, about kind of coming up above her head right there in the, in the softball pitching motion. And that's when you can, you can see Kelly start to, to make her move, okay? And that's, that's something that I think a lot of softball players don't really know what to do, especially our softball players because they are different than all the other girls in their teams where they have leg kicks and things like that because we allow freedom of movement as long as it helps you. And you can clearly see Kelly with an open stance here, um, something that, again, a lot of softball players aren't allowed to do apparently because they don't think they can do it. But, again, we see, we see a cool stance here, but – you can see her start to pick her foot up from the moment the pitcher's arm is above their head. So a lot of pitchers wait until the arm is down, or hitters wait until the arm is down and the ball's out, and that's just too late to start moving. I mean, it, by the time the ball leaves your hand, it's less than half of a second, and it gets to the plate, so you don't have that kind of time. So if you're watching this and you're kind of confused on, on when to start, it's, it's got, got to be some point, place before the pitcher lets go of the ball. Um, you just don't have enough time to react. Now, I know it depends on who's pitching, right? So if they're pitching really fast, you go sooner. If it's if it's uh, you know if it's slower, you're going to go a little bit later. But either way, so she lets go of the ball, and we can clearly see Kelly really kind of sitting into that back hip. Okay, you can see her front hip coil in. So we see that nice front hip coil in move that we like to see here, where where her her front hip is is in, and her rear hip is kind of going backwards behind her. We're going to get a good side view of it, but you can see you know she's got the softball pants on. You can see her belt turn in, so you can see the white of the kind of the back part of her belt just a little bit as you as she starts. Now this camera view is slightly off to the right, so you can't see as much of that coil in as you'd like, but you can clearly see it as she gets ready with a little bit of hunch over her like over her belly button towards the plate, which is fine. Uh, we like to keep the posture a little bit upright, but she's strong enough to, to be okay here. And then as the ball is coming in, all right, one thing that we really see her do well is clear the hips okay so before she starts to really commence uh you know turning the bat you can clearly see the ball is on the way right it's 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 made a, a pretty good you know made up a lot of distance here we clearly see the bat still behind kelly's shoulder and what she's able to do is because she's got a nice kind of loaded position here where she's got her hip coiled in her back elbow is pulled back behind her shoulder she's really ready to go here and she can go with that quickness that we like to see you know that suddenness that we like to see um, give the hitter the ability to wait a long time and then and then go. So from from here, she can really wait and tra let the ball travel and watch the ball 
for as long as she can before she makes a decision. I mean, that ball has traveled a good distance and the bat's still behind her shoulder. So from here, you're going to really see her very suddenly open up. Okay, so I'm going to take her to contact here because the front view is really good for this. Okay, so from here, at right behind contact, you can see a lot of things. Number one, you can see you can see her belly button open or you know her belt buckle really turning here. So from the from the front view, you can see when a hitter's belt, that's great. Okay, because we know that that belt is turning upward and outward this way as fast as it can. And what that does is again it pulls the back shoulder and then the barrel around after it in the same manner. That really quick sudden sudden move of everything. So again, the hips start to open up, catches your back elbow and shoulder, and then you can see that the barrel coming around her back shoulder and the catcher's mitt, and they're gonna, the barrel's gonna get in the way of the catcher's mitt, which is the destination for every softball or baseball. So whether you're a baseball player or a softball player watching this for the first time, you're really gonna be able to see what we're talking about here because it doesn't really matter whether it's baseball or softball, the swing and the system works the same. So again, from the side, or excuse me, from the front view, you can really see her open it up, and you can also really see her continue to go upward through the ball. Now it's not exactly the same plane, but it's definitely not glancing downward through the ball. You can see it rise up a little bit. Now, uh, one thing that that I want to point out here is that you know, from from the, the naked eye, it kind of looks like a half swing, right? So I'm gonna play it through. You can see here, there's not much of a finish, so not the 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 very you know the famous like Griffey finish where the bat's on the ground behind her. But what I want to point out is that if you're really really good and on time and and and, and you're you know obviously strength and 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 athleticism is a big part of it. But if you do a great job in the back of the swing, you don't always have to finish like that because she made contact right in a place where the bat was at top speed. So if we look at the side view again in contact, she doesn't need to do any more after that. You know she. She timed it up almost perfectly here. You can see the nice bend in her elbow still. We kind of miss contact in a frame uh, in this, on this particular video. But, you know, when you're really good back behind the swing, in my article a couple months ago, I talked about the phases. And if you're really good at the load phase or the loading part where you get your body ready to turn, and then you're really instant and very sudden and very quick uh, and, and correct, obviously, with the mechanics, which is what allows you to do that, add on the top of that that she's really strong and very athletic, then you're going to get swings where it looks like almost they kind of stop. But what you got to remember is, is that again, you know, the fences and, and, and are like 250 feet or a little bit less sometimes, depending on what level of softball you're at. If you do a good job back here behind the ball, you know, the, the aftermath of contact doesn't really look like a whole lot. You've seen A-Rod and a bunch of other guys do it. Now, I, we promote, you know, a full swing here at the Baseball and Softball Rebellion because most girls and guys, especially at young ages, are, are kind of in the mode of hit the ball and then run. And so we want them to take full swings and then, um, and, and then obviously worry about running after they've taken their, their best full swing. So from the side view here, we see all the things that we point out in our breakdowns. You're gonna see the rotation of the hips, pull the shoulders around. Now this looks almost like a rise ball that just, you know, one of the very few that stay strikes here. Now the ball flattens out a little bit right there. So you can see it kind of peak there on its way back down. This is a mistake pitch, and again, just like all the other videos, you can see the barrel come behind Kelly's shoulder, and again, here's that great, really, this is just a really good spot right here where you can see her hands, her back shoulder, and her elbow all staying together, and her shoulder turn is what delivers the bat to the ball. So the, the hands are not going away from her shoulder here, which is a big, 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 big league move right here, and she's turning the bat with her shoulders, and that's huge. So if you're, if you're a player watching this baseball or softball, gotta love how she uses her shoulders here. The barrel is turning and blurring back here behind her in the way the catcher's mitt there. So even if she were super late, she still hit it. And then as she continues through contact, you can clearly see from her, her backside elbow, so her left elbow to form is in an upward direction. Okay, so she's able to continue to go up through contact, post contact, still going up a little bit there. She turns out of it a little bit late, but the ball's already been hit. But again, without that, that forearm angle there, you're not going to be able to get up. If you're flat at that point, you're going to be flat. If you're down, you're going to be down. And that all happens back here. She sets that up back here behind her. Um, and then, of course, the great lower half, you know, you see her front leg straightening out. You really see that on the softball pants here, you can really see the turn because she's got the little triangle design on both sides. So you don't really see the front or the back here um, at this point in the swing. But as she continues to rotate, you clearly see the backside coming around. So she's got the, the triangle shape here on her pants. And then from there, you see the shoulder, the hands start to turn, everything in really succinct order, okay? And that's really... When you start talking about mechanics, whether you're a boxer or you know a softball player, baseball player, tennis player, it's it's that ability to go from one phase 
to the next of the swing. You know, bam, 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 in that in that domino effect without losing any energy, that makes you really good. And because she did that almost so perfectly here on this swing, she didn't really have to do a whole lot through contact. And frankly, if you're trying to do more work through contact, then you're probably not in a good spot with your swing. So, uh, yeah, so it's not a it's not a, an accident that she's at the top of all these leaderboards. Home runs, I mean, you know, like I said, runs batted in, fly balls. I mean, she led the league in sack fly, so she's trying to elevate the ball. So if you're a softball player thinking, i got to slap everything around and hit on the ground and beat it out, no, you don't. Like, you can do this, too. You just have to learn how to do the right moves. Uh, she's got the good head placement back here on her back hip, so she's not leaning forward, right? We don't see this lean forward where her head and her chest is kind of over her front knee. Uh, her head is clearly back here over her back leg, and as she turns, she's rotating up. So, again, just, you know, a great way to do it. So if you're going to watch a girl swing in the NPF, this is one to pay attention to. She's been a pro for a long time. And, again, it's not an accident that she's had that kind of success. So really exciting and really fun for me to do a softball swing. Honestly, it's the same. So, again, whether you're a baseball player or a softball player and uh, you want to learn how to swing, you can learn how to swing from, from both, you know, great softball hitters and great baseball hitters at the same time. So I hope you enjoyed that breakdown of Kelly. Uh, please, uh, you know, pay attention to her in that league. They're doing great things and only getting better. So uh, go check them out. And uh, thank you for listening today, guys.